Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and if you have any requests, make sure to drop on the line a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customization, and they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you with the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations. Now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable, to make your Shopify store very professional, without having to pay for those expensive teams, or hiring those ex expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications, just so you can have a widget or a section on your Shopify store. And it's not a very good idea, and it will drain your money quite fast. But I'll give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you be the judge, and I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill another request, because this is an update video, which is how to add a video, the homepage will autoplay. And not any, vi any video, you can actually make it a banner if you want. You can add text, you can customize the text, add custom font to the text, you can hide the text, hide the buttons, just an autoplay video. You can add blur to the video, yes, you heard that right. If the video is a little bit uh, like too shiny, and you want to add text on top of it, Maybe you want to make it blurry, so just a little bit, you can adjust the blur on the section just so you can uh, make the text very visible. A lot more options than you need, and yeah, it's completely free. And no, not this one that you see right now, Run. this is actually uh, another section. This is a premium one that has very, very customizable options, and I already made that video. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it and show you how to add a video on the home page or any page actually. You can add it on any page that you want with the autoplay feature and very customizable. So as you can see, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video I add small customizations, but the video like 60 or 70, the team will be completely different. But now because it's a different chapter, I think I reached that level halfway or maybe even less. For example, check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place, and it's filterable. If I click on Google, it will only show me the reviews from Google, and so on for Facebook and Amazon and Etsy. Or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, and it's highly customizable. You can customize for who to show up to, uh, first-time visitors, uh, like returning visitors, and also the behavior, the intervals between each one, and also the position and the colors, many, many more options, and by using your own custom code, no applications involved. So make sure to check out the channel, man, with a million times. So this is not the banner, this is the banner that I'm talking about, which is the premium one that has way more options. Uh, I'm not gonna do demonstration on this uh, Shopify store. I will do demonstration on another down team, another, same version. It's just a different one that fresh doesn't have any customizations. Because this one is full of sections and customizable uh, widgets and so on. So let me close this. Oops, you, you saw that. So this is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many, car, how many products he has in the cart and is triggered by the mouse cursor. Once he tracks the mouse cursor, is going to close the page, just like I was trying to do now. Then it will show up and it will remind the user how many exactly products he has in the cart. I want it to check out button so it can redirect the customer to pay you the money he owes you, of course. So let me close this. This is all natural, right? So let me close this and show you what I'm talking about. This is the... Uh, Shopify down team that I'm going to do demonstration and this is the video banner uh, you can remove this it will be just a video or autoplay you can adjust the, the blur on it you can adjust many 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 things so you can make this a banner or you can make it like a, an autoplay video without any uh, tags or anything it's your choice and everything is customizable and the blur of course so let me reload the page because this one is already gone as you can see no more how to add it that's exactly what I'm about to show you the first thing you're going to do is get back to Shopify dashboard after that if you are on the Shopify dashboard click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and in here you see this folder right here says sections click on it to be expanded then click on add new section because as I said this is a complete section that will work on any page not just home page so simply name it auto dash play just like you see or any name actually it doesn't matter what name you're gonna set to it uh, auto play yeah let's just click on done and in here it will create some code by default. Make sure to remove the whole code in here. And simply 
Scroll down the description box and you will see a link completely free again, no pay please here. And simply click on it, then download the file. You will download a file called uh, Autoplay Video Section, something like that. Open the file with any text editor on, on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply get back in here and paste it in here. And as I said, it's completely free. So click on uh, Save button. After a couple of seconds, you save it. We will get back to the team editor because we need to add the section. So to add the section, Simply click on add button, uh, like the, the plus button that shows up here, the click on add section, then simply type in auto and you will see auto play. And it should be empty, just like you see, nothing on it. So by default, the main section, which is this one, doesn't have any default, any option, sorry, except for the custom CSS code, if you wanna add some custom CSS. But to add the video, simply below it, you will see this one, block, click on it, then you will see a bunch of options in here. And this is where you're gonna customize everything. But first option you will see here is video link. So get back to Shopify dashboard, then click on uh, content from here, then click on files and simply upload the files into the file section in here. I already have a video I'm gonna use, which is the same one I used, you saw before. What is it, what is it? The clouds video, here it is, this one. So I'm gonna copy the link, copy the link from here. Make sure the video ends with .mp4. Then get back in here and simply pass it in here then select it and it should show up, here it is. It's pretty small, right? No worries, you can customize everything as I said. So the next option is the cover image. So if the video is actually like a large, like in size, it may take some time to load. In case it is, take a screenshot to the video or uh, any like thumbnail, this will act as a thumbnail for the, for the video, just so the video can be loaded in the background, then it will be removed and show the video. In my case, I don't need it. So the next option is video blur. So you can add blur to the video. Let me show you that in action. So if I increase this, it's very blurry. Uh, you can see, you can, uh, you can barely see anything. So I'm gonna drag it down a little bit, just one or two maybe. Yeah, two is perfect. And below is desktop height, because as I said, you can adjust everything. If I increase this, it will be much, much larger, as you can see, not too much. Yeah, perfect now. And below is the height for the mobile. So this is based on feedback from my previous video. Many people want uh, like options to customize this, uh, the sizes differently for mobile and for desktop. So each device will have different sizes. And I got you guys, this is what I added here. So this is the height for the mobile, for desktop, sorry. And this is the height for the mobile. So make sure to adjust them according to your liking or style of your Shopify store. And below is the content box. By default is disabled. If I enable it, it will show the content box below the text in here. I will disable this, I don't need it. And of course you can adjust the color for it. Uh, I don't need it, I will remove it. And below is the custom heading font URL for the heading. Because as I said, you can set a custom font here. And to do that, simply find any font that you like online and simply upload it to files here. I think I have some of them, I have many actually. Yeah, for example, I'm gonna use this one here. Simply, uh, as you can see, this one is OTF, any phone file will work. Upload, uh, do download any file that you like from the internet, then upload it to your Shopify files, copy the link for it in here, then get back in here and simply paste it in the custom phone uh, input. And here it is, as you can see. And if you use some custom phone, it will, uh, I don't know, some, some custom phone will make text mess up like this. Look how it looks like. Uh, I need some space between each letter, so I added the option to adjust the space. But before is the heading text, of course. In my case, I'm gonna keep it video background. And below is the des desktop size and mobile size. As I said, each option for resizing has both mobile and desktop separately, so you can set different sizes. In my case, I'm gonna increase the sizes because it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more. Yeah, now it's good. And below for the mobile, I'm gonna keep it just default. And this is the option I was talking about, which is the heading letter spacing. So if I increase this, it will increase uh, the, what's wrong with my mouse? So if I increase this, it will increase the space between letters, as you can see. But I don't actually need it too much like that. I'm gonna keep it just like this is perfect. And below is the description, of course. And if you want to make description bold or italic or any option, this is a rich text input. And below is the resizing. And again, resizing for both desktop and mobile. I'm gonna increase this on desktop a little bit because it's pretty small as you can see. Yeah, now it's perfect. And below for the mobile sizing and the colors. The heading colors, you can change to black if you want 
our text as well, the description black, like this. And by the way, if you don't want to show these, simply remove them. And remove this one too. They're gone. Just on autoplay, you can disable the blur if you want to. But in my case, I'm gonna keep them. And below is the label button. It doesn't show any button. You have to set a link for it. So I'm gonna name it like uh, contact, something like that, just for demonstration. And for the link, I'm gonna set it to uh, contact us. And here it is, as you can see. And you can, of course, adjust the button text size if you wanna make it larger. Yeah, like that. And the color, the background color, you can make it black. And the text, you can make the text white. And you can set the rounded corners for the button like this. And here it is. And if you have any more options, because all these options are based on my subscribers requests. So if you have any, uh, any ideas or any more options you want to add to this, just so drop me a comment below and it will be added in two days maximum. Or if you have any video requests or any questions about Shopify, just drop me a comment again. I reply to each comment as I said. But for now, that's how you add an autoplay video on your Shopify homepage or any page as you like with updated video in 2025. And thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.